The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. It feels like ah, it's better, it's better with you. My life, ah, it's better, it's better with you. This is true, ah, it's better, it's better with two. My life, ah, it's better with you. Hello, everybody, and welcome. My brother, my brother, mean advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy, and allow me to be the first to welcome you to 20 Sun and Sea Surf the Vibe. Yeah, hang 10, bro. It's me, Travis McElroy. Your hey oldest there. brother. Hey, b- hey there, Boogie Bros. Cut. Hey there, Boogie Bros. It's me, your cuck. babiest brother, Griffin McElroy. I did cuck. hear cuck in there. Did I say cuck? <laughs> Why did Wait. you say cuck? Did I say that? You said cuck. I, I said, nothing. hey there, boogie bros. Yeah. Cuck. cuck. <laughs> like one might say, uh, edit point. But it's oh, like it's you like just a, said yeah. cuck. This is my Manchurian candidate style activation word for all the cucks out there. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know who you it's are. Cuck. <laughs> Oh, boy. I don't know about you guys, but in the four days since we recorded that last episode where we named the year 20 Sun and Sea Surf the Vibe, I don't know that I've necessarily embodied the spirit of it. Uh, I don't know that I've been really given the chance to do that. Mm, I the do weather notice I'm, I'm the only one of the three wearing like a tropical shirt. I've grown my yeah. hair out. Well, yes. In okay. the last four days. Hair you can't is not fair, to bring to the show, we've talked about this before because yours does all kinds of like fun stuff that mine doesn't do. Justin's could do it, I, I think, if he had the strength of his convictions. But I, for me, Travis, I'm also really embracing and not letting go of just as like a personal mantra, deeper than words, deeper okay. than by which I mean deeper than shirts. I'm going to surf yeah. the vibe in a non purely <laughs> aesthetic way. Listen, it, I 100 percent do not want to reopen 641. But I will say, Griffin, there's something about you having your own sub theme that bothers me. Yeah. Oh, mostly. really? Oh, really, Mister Mister Fucking B B Man? Every year, bees, bees, bees all the time. Bees, That's bees in the different. trap. That's bees in different. the trap. I've been working with a firm who's developed that strategy. I'm for sick us. of this fucking fiction. I I will keep Christmas in my way, and you will keep Christmas <laughs> in yours. I had some com- I had some complaints in the inbox. No, that we continue to insist on the 20 pronunciation and don't embrace 20. Ooh. Because that, but apparently they're, they're making huh. the case that 20 is appropriate and accurate. Well, and 20. Twin, I think twin. a lot of it is, I don't want to have to hear us, including myself, <laughs> try to say it like that. <laughs> I know, we're definitely going to sound like we're twin doing twin. bad, very bad Bond impressions. Or Excuse really, probably me, like Mr. Him. Bond. Yeah. Mr. Bond, you see, it's 2023. <laughs> Hindsight, Mr. Bond, is 2020. <laughs> I love that little baby. The talking dog is funny, but ba- the baby Stewie, he is hilarious. Yeah. I love that impression. Oh, that did kind of sound like him, didn't it? Yeah. yeah wow. Like okay. That. So with my Stewie, Travis is Cartman. Juice, you need, can you do Rick or Morty? <laughs> I, I love you. I love you, Morty. Now, okay. Morty, now, we have to <laughs> change the past. Dinosaurs are Nazis. I don't. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. I love you. Famously, like the one thing he does not say. I wait, what? I have not. I, have I not love you. Allowed. I haven't been allowed oh. to watch the show. I have certain. Channels I don't think I blocked. get it. Yeah, oh, I, I, do. I don't. Think I, I go over I my friend Brad's sleep. house. I said Adult Swim. Yeah, nighttime is kind of when Rachel gets the TV. Yeah, 
And you go um, you go down for resties. I go down yeah. for rest, yeah. This is uh this is an advice show. We take your problems and turn them alchemy like into wisdom. This I mean, not for a while now. We haven't we done haven't that done for that a for a weeks. minute. If anything, okay. we've taken your problems and turned them alchemy like into different problems. Is there a resolution that you guys have for this show in this year? For the show? For the show? For the show. Everybody's turning over new leaves. I don't have a bit. I'm literally just asking. Is mm. there anything you'd like to achieve? I think it might be nice if we help more people. You know what I mean? Maybe. I don't interrupt enough. I could really amp that up. Yeah. No, I, could, I think okay. you did that pretty good last year. Well, I there's think, always room for more. No, I'm saying like the balance of interrupting that you do right now is like perfect. Oh, really? Perfect. No notes. Perfect, yeah. No notes. Um, I think that... I've really also kind of been batting a thousand lately. I don't think any of us should. I'm actually, I would be scared of any of us changing literally any aspect yeah. of the show at this I point. I don't know what's holding it together yet at this point. Yeah. Because it could be the, the, you know, maybe Travis does one less bit and the whole jalopy just kind of plonks apart. I could, you, I could do with a good Travis bit today. That would be nice. Oh, no. Bad news, no, fellas. <laughs> no, it's actually great that it doesn't come when we need it. No, yeah. <laughs> it would be juicy. No, it doesn't come when, when you want him. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's help people. I'm done kidding around. Great. Okay. Great. I recently started a new job with a break room that features a Ooh, curated la, la. coffee machine Ooh. as well as a large selection of K cups. Oh yeah. My mom recently gifted me a huge quantity of Starbucks Holiday Blend K cups. Cool. One of my favorite coffees, and Ooh. I currently can't use them since I do not have a Keurig at home. So I asked this brothers, would it be weird to bring my own K cups to work? and make my own coffee with the company's machine. How can I sneak my own coffee without my boss thinking he has a weak coffee selection and being offended? That's from Out for Coffee in Orange County, Cop. Oh, oh boy. this is nice. It's nice to be able to knock one out of the park real super easy. You're asking if I spend my own money and make the company spend less money replacing cake cups they must provide with the boss care. No. Oh, I, mm -hmm. Hey, I'll go out even further on a limb. I, unless, I don't, well, okay. Assuming your boss isn't like a Michael Scott type, you know, like mm. one of those guys. Uh, okay, now I'm laughing. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. already over here busting Not even up. gonna notice what cups you're using in the Keurig. You, okay, but you need to walk through, the, this is the problem with being so far removed from office life. You don't remember it. I watch it no. all the time. Imagine you're sitting in there with Stanley and Phyllis and all the gang. Okay. And it's time to make your coffee. Who do I get along best with, Justin, do you think? Knowing what you know about Phyllis. me. Phyllis. Phyllis, yeah. You think Phyllis you and I, along. yeah, I can see that. I can see you getting along really well with Phyllis. Maybe Real like well, Trav. Real well. Oh, yeah? Enough said. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, imagine the situation when you're in there and you're like, oh, I'd love a cup. And they're like, yum. Get your coffee break going. And then you go... You creep over to your bag and you unzip it and then you reach it and you mm. pull out your own little kick yeah, up so. and then you zip the bag back up and then you're get you've already something is wrong <laughs> something is wrong. <laughs> well, yeah, you've it done takes a little wrong. more planning than that. You're gonna have to palm it from your desk in your pocket. Oh, I love this. And then you're doing a little misdirect. Oh, bird outside the world. Oh, it, and then like, why does your smell so much better? And you say, I put love in it. And then you I drink did, it quietly right. in the bathroom. My my New Year's resolution, Travis, is we stop pretending that sleight of hand press the digitation is a solution to all our problems. Yeah, there's a lot of problems where if you're a master of the sleight of hand, the art, the arts, the dark arts of that. Thank you. You you could solve a lot of problems with sleight of hand press the digitation. Yes. I don't think that's fair to just say be good at sleight of hand, be good at table magic. I'm yeah. tired of it. <laughs> um, they are also definitely going to clock that. The cup is dead. Someone's going to open up this machine when in ooh, long after your good. cup is brewed. Be like, ooh, this is great. Ooh, this Who's, looks good. This is better than the shit that Michael buys for us. I shouldn't have said Michael because that is the name of the boss on the office. But yeah. And maybe the oh, boss is a real D-bag who brought in this Keurig machine. It was like, you guys heard of this shit? This shit is primo stuff, babes. But it's like, you know. Oh, no, he's going to get fired. Well, or yeah, not. or he's gonna get promoted. Am I right? He's like, it's like a little. I know you're looking at this little cup, and you're like, how could there be a whole cup of coffee in there? You fucking dummy. That's why I'm the boss. And so, like if you do guy. put in better coffee in there, he's gonna be 
pretty embarrassed, probably. Yeah, yeah. Or he's going to see it as a real alpha male move. That's Ooh. what a real alpha does, brings their yeah. own coffee. You're going places. And what I what I do know about alphas. Uh-huh. They being, love to eat cats. Being, being one myself, <laughs> is that when other alphas come around, we're like, cool. That's yeah. great for me. Yeah. Alphas yeah. love taking orders from other alphas and yeah. hanging around with other alphas. And Well, it's yeah. lonely. It's lonely at the top. Yeah. Um, That's why, I, as an alpha, I like to have somebody in charge of me. That makes me feel more comfortable as an alpha to know that I don't have to make all the decisions. Hey. I don't have to be in charge. You know what I mean? Takes the pressure off. Sure. Just, just, um, just drink it. <laughs> just drink the cup. Like from the tiny pod? Go to your desk. Drink the cup. So you're saying don't put the pod inside of the machine. You're sa- you understand it's, from what I understand, drink I think it's cup. just powder in there. Eat the cup. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. There we go. You know, Tide pod just, challenge. Maybe you just, I mean. Guys, if I for, like, people sometimes take the audio from this show and they put it on TikTok and they make like a billion dollars off of it or whatever. But we cannot be responsible for the K-Cup challenge because that's bad and people go to hospital, I bet, a lot. And then all of a sudden, great shame is brought to our hometown. No, but Griffin, Justin's just saying- Tear open the pod, put it in neat lines on your desk, and snort the no, pod. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't snort Christ. the pod. I did not say snort the pod. No. I think you did. Though that should be our tagline for this show. Snort the pod. <laughs> snort the pod. <laughs> Is it too late to change the year? <laughs> no one knows what happens if you put an AirPod in each nostril and press play <laughs> at two times speed, max volume. But I think... <laughs> It goes a little something like this. And this Snort is a TikTok challenge. Do do that. And they're probably like on the screen like, whoa, because all the podcasting is going just right into the, you know, the mucous membranes. That's and easy. Like, Eat the pod. Next question. Next I hope question. It has the same answer. Thank you. A lot I know of, you. Whoa. A lot of people send in a wizardly one okay. for us. A wizard of Wa- Waverly Place for us. Never got into pi- that one. The pilot Never? episode. Uh, this this one is how to use a bidet, uh, and it was updated on Christmas Day. Was huh. David Henry on that one? Wizards of Waverly Place? No one knows yes. on this podcast. David Henry, Wizards... Okay, look at this. I realized this. I made this connection this week. David Henry, Wizards of Waverly Place. Okay. That one video I made for Travis that one time. Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. Oh, yeah. holy shit, you're right. Slain. And... He's the son in How I Met Your Mother. Holy shit. A good gig, by the way, because he filmed everything for for the first two seasons. Gets Zigis residuals for all the seasons. Because they're reusing the footage. We all know what Zigis are. He gets Zigis for all those episodes, even though he finished filming after the second season. Unbelievable. All right. Unbelievable career this guy has. David Henry rolling in it. Also, Uh, you can get Adam on Cameo if you want. I do love doing unpaid cameo promotions for people. But Juice, there have probably been many people who listen to this podcast sitting in the toilet with a dirty butt for the last two and a half (laughs) minutes. Like, I wish Justin would shut the fuck up so I can figure out how to ride this spaceship. Okay, okay, okay. Do you want to say something to those people who you have left with a dirty butt for two and a half minutes? (laughs) Sorry that I left you once again with a dirty butt. You said my 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 thing this year is helping more people, and then I was you're like, right. "I'm going to help people." And you're laughing. I know. I helped Justin. David Henry get a little cameo business going. I guess you're I laughing guess. through it with all those zigies. Probably not with the zigies. After wait, all. are you getting some off the top, J Man? Are you getting? Oh, you're getting ten percent. You're getting zigies from those zigies. There's step one. And it's keep your grades up. <laughs> keep those fucking grades up. B what is or the higher. Question? What are we? F- I was so how to use a bidet, but damn it, use a bidet. Okay, you don't even got it. You don't even. You don't even, it. You don't even care. I do. You want, I do care. You want them? You're to out have here dirty rubbing butts. elbows with David Henry with and stars. other pop star elites. All right. I step wish. one: keep your grades up. Step two: use the toilet first. Oh. Okay. The purpose of the bidet is to help clean off after toilet use. Okay. Now, you can use the bidet in conjunction with toilet paper, or you can use bidet on its own. Some people believe using a bidet is a hygienic substitute for toilet paper, but many choose to use both. But regardless, the order of the operations, you don't need it. You didn't need WikiHow for this to know that before you clean up the mess, 
You gotta make the mess. Well, yeah, I but a bidet is not a gifted, one use. We've all been gifted bidets. Yeah. in our homes. Yeah, uh, so mine actually a, commuted with the sale of our of our Austin estate. Sadly, because you're not gonna go back. You can't go back. Can't go back. Um, no, you yes. can try to go back to an old house and say, "Hey, can I really like this potty? Can I use it again?" And they <laughs> get weird. They do. Get, they do get strange about it. Um, find the bidet. <laughs> Step I like two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the bidet is located near the toilet attached to the wall. It looks something like a low sink or a toilet with a faucet. However, oh. many modern bidets are built into the toilet seat, so you don't need to s- get up to straddle another fixture. I cannot imagine. No. Yeah. I cannot imagine moving to a second location. No. For a butt blasting. I yeah, yeah. For, it's, it. it's Whoa, wild. Jamin, you got to be careful with your phrasing here, dude. Once again, audio can You be cannot bold. go to the second location for the butt blasting. You now, need it right I, Griffin there. just gave it to him cleaner. That'll yeah. be a cleaner one. Because <laughs> we can't live. We can, Sorry, just a quick programming note for just the three of us is we can't live in fear <laughs> of the gun that TikTok has to our heads at all times waiting for us to say some shit. Yeah, that is dear, gonna... dear, dear listener, imagine at home that sometimes when you talked, Jojo Siwa would repeat the thing that you said <laughs> on a video. That you do have that particular sort of Damocles hanging over your yeah. head as you might have to see your child's hero, yeah. Jojo Siwa, repeat the dumb things you said. Yeah. So um, th- that that is cost that's a non-zero chance. It's terrifying. Um I saw the first time I was exposed to a bidet was at a yeah. friend's house. He shall remain nameless, but in his parents' like ensuite. Uh, I don't know why I was using that bathroom, but I saw the bidet <laughs> next to their nice toilet, and I had I thought I remember thinking at the time that it was it must have been in the middle of a repair, like it was a toilet that was hadn't been finished being built yet. But then that didn't really answer the question of why they would have two side by side toilets, one of which was half built. Um, but I didn't investigate further. I have a we. I mean, we travel a lot. We do like tours and stuff. And I've stayed in a hotel room that had one of those side by side bidets. Oh wow! And Never I knew what it was. And I, but I still look at it if I ever can encounter one in the wild and just try to like geo like geometry figure out. Yeah, and it just feels like the only way to do it is to like shimmy and hover, and I can't yeah, bring myself. If, if only there was a guide for how to use a bidet. Oh wait, that's what I'm reading out loud automated. right now. Okay, so to, re- to recap, I pooped, yep. and dirty. then I found the bidet. There it is. Okay, that's, now, that's so far. The phrasing of that, home. by the way, is clunky wiki how, because when I first heard find the bidet, I assumed you meant locate one in the world and no, no, not no, no. what is the apparatus. It's there. Okay. Um, okay. You've already located a bidet. You just please, haven't pinpointed it. Please. They are so dirty, Travis. And now you're the one stalling. Straddle a standalone bidet. On most standalone bidets, you can choose to face the bidet's water controls or you can face away from them as you would on a toilet. I don't like that. I don't either. like I don't having that. Be, like reaching behind me to just hope that I get the right spot. Well, no, I don't want. I don't like there being a fifty-fifty chance, like from the jump, that I'm going to get this wrong. That oh. there was a correct way that I should have been facing, based on sort of where my stuff is and where it's dirty, and then this guide has not told me specifically what use case I should be looking. There's got to be a better. Right? I think I think Justin will appreciate this most out of the three of us. But what we need is those like voiceover things that happen when you're like getting on a roller coaster at Disney World. Oh, it's yeah. very explicitly like enter the car, hold your hands up, the bar will move automatically. I need a recorded voice giving okay. me step by step instructions on repeat right. of using this standalone bidet. I thought you were going to say you needed voiceover of yourself every time you sat down at the toilet. That went like. I know you're probably wondering, how did I end up in this situation? <laughs> I actually wouldn't mind that. Um, so you can straddle it, I guess, like a cool teacher with a dirty, dirty butt. <laughs> and then you can... Um, I, that Travis reminds me, I, I, do, I do always at home do a little like straight to camera narration. Like yeah. before I use the bathroom, like as I'm closing the door, I look out. I'm like, I think I'll handle this part. On my own. Yeah, and then sure. I'll close the door. Yeah, that's funny. Just in case of Truman Show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, if you say that, they legally have to stop filming. Uh, this part's great. If you're wearing pants, you may need to remove them to straddle the bidet facing the controls. I don't, I don't 
I don't know how physically you would, unless you wrapped your pants around the back of the bidet and sort of like got on it like that, like it, like you've created a perfect hoop out of your yeah. legs and pants. Yeah, but the instructions have already told me that I need to shit first. Yeah. So are they worried that I finished right. shitting? Didn't no, no, right. no, 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 no. Finished not, shitting, pulled work. up pants. <laughs> Travis, you no, not pull up pants. What you are saying is that when you go to use the bathroom, you fully <laughs> remove <laughs> your oh! jeans and fold, fold your jeans and hang them up. <laughs> I have so it's saying slowly. remove all the way to straddle. <laughs> My anxieties are as such that I am very cautious about walking into any bathroom Period. for fear that I might stumble in on the scene of a crime. Yeah, uh, right. Whenever that has happened, and the small handful of times it has happened, it has instantly, every time, been like, oh, shit, sorry, and I walked out. If I open up the door a crack and I see you've <laughs> taken your pants completely off <laughs> to use the toilet, yeah. I'm afraid my reaction time might not be as high just because I, I'm going to be huh? so desperately yeah. curious of like, hey, wait a minute. Where did they? I'm also <laughs> assuming the, tech, the move here is you take the pants completely off, but Dave's right next to the toilet. You kind of, you're sitting on the toilet and then you can just, then you just pivot. <laughs> and you're yeah, yeah now, you just pivot. Griffin has taken his headphones completely off, which is bad for... <laughs> <laughs> he is now He's just demonstrating pivoting, the move. He's still pivoting. I think once Griffin puts his headphones back on, did I think play? the weirdest did way that to track? take- Did you guys follow that? Yeah, he got it. Okay. The weirdest version of taking your pants off in the bathroom I've decided is if you take them all the way off and hang them up, a lot of thoughts put it. What if you just took them off and l scooted your feet back about six inches? Okay. So it's just enough, but it's like I could get back into them quicker. Because I yeah. think that's what we're all thinking about, right? If you see someone with their pants pulled around their ankles, they're yeah. ready for anything. If they're right. taking their pants completely off, they're not ready for anything. No. <laughs> but maybe I'm ready for some things. There's a small, you've reduced the number of things you're ready for. You can keep your pants on one foot and still straddle a toilet. Now please. that's interesting. Like you're pivoting right now. You will have to pivot back to line up your left foot. Right. <sighs> it's going to be tricky no matter what. Or you could just do a toilet seat bidet, which I feel like whoever invented that was just like, what do we do? It should, all the mess should go in one bowl. Like why, why do we have a two bowl solution for this guys? <laughs> Come on. It was staring us in the face the whole time. Does a regular bidet flush? I think it's just like a Does water a fountain. <laughs> I think it's just always going down. Okay. Man, I've never used a standalone bidet, and I don't think I care to, looking at some no. of these diagrams. <laughs> I, I, get, I am looking at this WikiHow article. I'm reading out loud to our millions of followers. If I ever had to use a standalone bidet, but <laughs> bidet, I don't think I could figure, I think I wouldn't know how to do it. I actually think that's what a lot of hotels are counting on, where it's just like, yeah, it's there, man. You won't use it. Good luck. Note that most bidets don't have seats, but are still meant to be sat upon. You just sit directly on the rim. Some bidets no, do not have- that can't be no, it. Some bidets, no, that cannot some bidets, be it. Let me finish, please. Sure. Some bidets do not have jets. They simply have a faucet that fills the basin, much as you would fill a sink basin. In this latter case, You'll need to use your hands to manually clean yourself. No. I know. Now, listen, no. listen. No, listen. I understand no. that there are. No, 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 no. When you travel, there are different sort of, there are different parts of the world where that is more, that is more the norm than it okay. is uh, in, okay. in, in other parts of the world. I get that. And I am sensitive to that. But it does introduce so many more points of failure for me, someone who's. Bidet, bidet curious. I would say somebody who would see a standalone bidet and be like, "I bet I could, I bet I could tackle one of these. I bet I could get this right." But it, but then I'm sit all of a sudden I'm sitting on the rim, just splashing like a pool of water up into my business, and like this feels wrong. I need help. I need I another mean, person in here. I think it's introducing too much uncertainty. That's by exactly which I mean, yes. If I go into you guys ever gone this this. I don't think this happens in all bathrooms, but in some bathrooms I've been in, there's the one in um the one that springs to mind is the one in in Batu. Yes. In, in Star Wars, the Star Wars outposts in, sure. in the little market there. 
there's the guy at a big trough. Sometimes yeah. you see these baseball games. It is not immediately clear if that is a hand washing station or a urinal. Wow. Or both. Or both. Or it is both. I mean, it is both. Any, I, anything wet can this do is both no longer, things. I don't think that I would have the certainty of, like, if it's just like, well, there's a bowl of water. Maybe I should yeah. clean my asshole with it. Like, right. I feel like that is a, a big logical jump I'm not willing to make, like, especially not in a stranger's home. I don't want to brag, but, but I wash myself in the bathtub and or shower. I'm a big boy. to take care of yeah, myself. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't shy away from all the parts. I get that, right? So clean. it's not like washing yourself is gross. I just want to say, because I don't want, like, if Travis says it and we don't say it, I also get clean down there. Like, yeah, if, I, if Travis says sure. it and I don't say it, they're going to be like, why don't Griffin and Justin also yeah. get clean down there? For yeah. me, it's when you introduce, as Justin and Griffin both said, so I just do it with my hand. Like, the right. idea of, no, 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 they're... The switch, <laughs> anything like that, where I'm like, this can't be it, is all I'm going to keep saying. This can't be it. I'm almost certain if there is just a faucet pointing downward, someone would walk in on me somehow upside down like a Spider Man, <laughs> like hanging from the faucet, like some sort of like some sort of gargoyle or vampire bat. Like, is this right? Is this correct? And at this um, point, we've been gone from our family and friends two hours trying it's to been figure so this thing long. out. We come out of the bathroom soaked head to toe. Like, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> ah, so clean. Ah, I just want to say the last step is wash your hands. And that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. We should still be doing that. I know Fauci's not banging that drum as loud anymore. So I guess he's kind of slacked off on it's it. It's up to me. Ba wash I'm your kinda, hands. If I want to, I just think. Hand washing should be a part of any toilet experience, yeah. Yeah. the day or no. Right? But especially you one you hear Fauci's you, thing. Actually, you should they definitely. Said, people were like, "Should you wash your hands when you're done with the bathroom?" And Fauci said, "I don't know. Did you piss on your hands?" And I was like, "Whoa, dude!" <laughs> yeah, I remember one time I was in. I live in D.C. Fauci Central, and I was at a uh, you know a sports bar watching a game, and then uh, I, I saw him in the bathroom. Sounds true so far. I was yeah, at the bye. urinal, and he walked in and used the urinal right next to me zipped up and walked right out and I was like Fauci what gives and he was like didn't touch it and then he left <laughs> wait that wasn't Fauci that was Justin <laughs> so that's so many more times than I can count Griffin and the Marines they teach us not to piss on our hands <laughs> yeah yeah, so yeah. I don't... <laughs> to quote my favorite movie The Negotiator <laughs> a classic I love that movie no classic no movie. all good actors all good times <laughs> The Negotiator <laughs> The negotiator. <laughs> that was the tagline on the poster. <laughs> These two good men are squaring off in a battle of good dudes, oh, no problems at all. Oh fuck! Hey, can we go to the, can we go to yeah. the zone? Come on, get in the car. It's better. It's better with you. Bombus. Yeah. I think that I, one of the things I would like to offer as a service to people who uh, buy advertisement spots on our show is like, let me develop a very catchy, short kind of tagline for you. And I, I would like to try this one. Bombus, put it on. Whoa. Yeah, well, you, you could do that for so many of our sponsors, though. Yeah, but I'm so giving it to you Bombus tighten it up a little. Can you tighten it up a little bit? Uh, let's see. Bombus, wear it. No, Bombus. Mm. Okay, nope. so should we start this no. ad all the way over? Let me try yeah, again. Let's just, Let me try again. All the Let's way just start the ad all the way over, maybe. Okay. When I'm reaching for socks, I don't have any choices in the world of socks. You know why? Because all my socks are Bombus. Yep. They're comfortable. They're clean after I've washed them. Uh, they're made from great materials like Pima cotton and all the other great ones that they use that you know, merino wool. Yes. Sounds luxurious, but that's because it is. Uh, they're luxuriously soft socks and undies and T-shirts. And this is really nice. Those items are the top three items requested by homeless shelters. And for every one of these items that you buy, Bombas is going to donate to a shelter for people experiencing homelessness, a, a, a pair of your items. So that's like you're doing something good for you, plus you're doing good something good for other people. And I've, if you use a code, you're doing something good for us because it makes them buy more ads. So if you think about it, it's a moral imperative 
Yes. I, I'm just I'm gonna shift the ad a little bit and say that not buying Bombas is actually unethical. Wow. And could, wow. And could wow. get you and could get you canceled. Yeah. Wow, Juice. It could, yeah. Bombas, it's th- the right thing to do. The only thing to the do. Only the only choice thing. is Bombas. Um, cool. Do you want to read the rest of the actual ag copy? For sure, man. Or... Go to bombas.com slash mybrother and use code mybrother for 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash mybrother and use code mybrother at checkout. Yeah. Or go to hell. Bombas. Hey, yeah, or that's go to cool. hell. Guys, we are once again nominated for best ad reads. Yeah. You can blame them. For the podcast awards or whatever. I do wonder if maybe, just maybe for the next few weeks, we could try to read the ad copy in our fun, twisted, fucked up South Park way without introducing taglines. Um, like, you know, uh, Bombus, fuck Rudy Giuliani. Like, just throwing in like Bombus, welcome to hell, idiot. Like saying no, things I like said that. Bombus that are... or go to hell. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. But I'm wondering if maybe we could try to k- stick to the script a little bit more instead of introducing um taglines like Bombus. It's like a car from the future that you can have sex with. Like, well, that's very we... good. Yeah, that is actually pretty good. Yeah, I'd buy it. I'd wear those. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. We got Babel up next. Babel, guys. We've done Babel a lot. We cannot yeah, we can fuck do this, this up. Do this. Okay, so let's try to this. let's try to get it get it re- get it right this time. Okay. There's an extremely loud truck driving by my house right now, okay, or I would hop in there. Okay. If I have a loud truck on my track, it's gonna go to fucking smartless again. Hey, it's a new year. And you know what that means? It's a chance to pick up new jobs or new skills. Like say uh, you wanted to travel more, right? New travel experiences. You could become an international hit hit person. Travis, God bless And it. with that, you're gonna need to blend in seamlessly to many different countries and cultures. Do you want to commit wanna be a the, shadow. Do you want, I mean, sorry, let me try, let me try Travis's approach. Do you want to commit the gravest sin do so Not while speaking. Not getting Bombus. Just the second gravest cardinal sin. Well, you should do so while being able to speak many languages with Babel. If you if you can't satisfy, if you are having a hard time slaking your thirst yeah. for death uh-huh. here in America, and you want to travel abroad to do so, Babel, baby, language for life. What? But, it's a, but that, no, not it's for their job. life, because you're going to end that. They won't need to worry about knowing any languages. You've terminated them. Hey, Griffin, this is not about a thirst for blood. This is a job. This is a, we live in a gig economy, baby. I know. What's the do. original gig? Hit personing. I don't think that's it either. I think it is. It's the oldest profession. All and right. so you can learn. Oh, there's so many different uh, languages, and it all comes in easy, but fun, bite sized lessons. So it's not going to take all day. You can do it in between things. You can do it while you're waiting, uh, you know, for the next In between happen. marks, right, yeah. Trav? Yeah. And so you can learn a new language in as little as three weeks. In addition, you can get access to podcasts, games, videos, stories, even live classes. So there's a lot of immersive stuff in there as well. And it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. And right now, you get it to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash mybrother. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash mybrother for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Wink. J. Keith, do you know what I love more than the trivia, comedy, and celebrity guests on our podcast, Go Fact Yourself? No, what, Helen? Sharing all of those things with an actual audience. Yes, well, lucky for you, Go Fact Yourself is back to being a live audience show. Woohoo! Yeah, we've got a free recording coming up on January 15th in Los Angeles and February 11th in Pasadena. And if you can't make it there, all of our recordings will still be available as a podcast. Twice a month, every month on MaximumFun.org. Yeah, no excuses. So if you're not listening, you can go fact yourself. Hey there, it's Annabelle Gerwich. And I'm Laura House. We host Tiny Victories, the 15-minute podcast that's about the little things. Getting into the tiny victory frame of mind is about recognizing minor accomplishments and fleeting joys. 
Isn't it a wonderful day when the first password you try actually works? When it's freezing cold outside and toasty as all get out in my shower, my tiny victory is that I turn off the water and get on with my day. We can't change this big dumb world, but we can celebrate the tiny wins. So join us on Maximum Fun or wherever you listen to podcasts. Let's, Let's get, get tiny! I know that they keep nominating us because we talk about it more than everybody else. Uh-huh. Yeah. Combined. But best ad reads tough this year, guys. Yeah, it's a t- it's stacked, man. It's stacked. Uh, they got here's who we're up against: Conan O'Brien, okay, Nicole Byer, lost, lost, Renee Brown. We have lost and Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey for the Office. Like what? Okay. Wow. What, 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 I mean, I'm I'm gonna say we're way better than one of those people, but I won't say which one. Wow. It's, I guess it's an honor. It's honor just to be nominated. I guess it's it is an honor to be nominated. Because we're not it's winning this to be one. Nom- Yeah, they should give you. I want some sort of plaque for being nominated. I think that's only fair because I'm you not going to get, get the other thing. It. You should get. Yeah. You should get a plaque for being nominated. Send, a sh- send me a sh- airbrush shirt. Podcast awards that say you were nominated. I, here's what I'm saying. If we won. We would send airbrush shirts to all the Holy losers shit. to say like it was an armor being nominated with you. Wait, this is huge. This can be the strategy. If we win, it's going to matter a lot to us. That's yeah. true. Probably guys. more than it would matter to these other very very successful comedian type people. Mm-hmm. If we won, it's all we'd ever talk about. Yeah, yeah we weren't just nominated; we won it too. It'd it's be Conan's just going to throw it. Conan's going to throw it in the drawer with all of his other awards. Yeah. But we need it. We need. I need it. We need a win. Um. Dum, ba, 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 li, 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 li. Yeah. Yeah. This is a gross uh, one. I want a munch. Squad. <laughs> no. I want to <laughs> munch. No, I don't Squad. like any of these mouths. <laughs> Welcome to podcast. <laughs> Sorry, welcome to Munch Squad. It's a podcast. Welcome and then to a podcast. podcast. It's a Munch Squad. <laughs> There's a podcast and then a podcast. It's an omner just to be here. <laughs> it's an omner just to be advertised <laughs> on this one. Uh, welcome to Munch Squad podcast of the podcast profile of the latest grace of brand eating. Buffalo Wild Wings collaborates with rookie Ahmad Sauce Gardner and artist Mosh to create the first custom cleats featuring real sauce. What? First custom cleats to feature real sauce? Yeah, they're the first custom cleats to feature real sauce. Real real, real sauce. Now, Continuing I find se- that hard to believe. There Continuing- hasn't been a custom cleat before this that, that accidentally sauce? got a dribble dribble of you- some sort of sweet sauce on yeah. it. So this is uh, 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 continuing their season-long partnership. If you don't like the word sauce, I would skip ahead. You're going to hear it a few times. Continuing their season-long partnership, Buffalo Wild Wings and Ricky cornerback Ahmad Sauce Gardner, who notably did not allow a TD in three years at Cincinnati. I mean, come on. This guy as a quarterback? Sheep. As a cornerback. Oh, Born I was going to say, as a quarterback, that's a pretty bad statistic. Also, they, if he's he, been playing for three years, is he still a rookie? He's teamed up. That I think it was when he was in college. He's teamed up with acclaimed footwear artist Mosh to create their first custom cleats designed using Sauce. Sauce will wear the one-of-a-kind cleats on December 4th as part of the NFL's My Cause, My Cleats program with proceeds from the online auction benefiting Boys and Girls Club of America. Cool. This is Mosh. This is Mosh. What? You want to see it? Yeah, I can help you. Hold on. Because I don't understand. first. I could not pass up the opportunity to work alongside Sauce and Buffalo Wild Wings to develop the first custom shoe with real sauce. And even better, it's his own Buffalo Wild Wings sauce sauce, said celebrity artist <laughs> Mosh. Mosh said the sauce sauce is what they've used. I'm always looking to push the limits of what can be done with custom footwear and was challenged and excited to make a cleat that has literal flavor and style. Yeah. And burns after you and wear it. Burns the foot as you sweat in it while doing football plays. Masha's simple saucy design. It's not simple. You're gonna see in a second. I don't know why they. Said I'm assuming that. it looks like a a crime scene blood splatter sort of situation. 
The se- See, the I was song. imagining, if I may, like the old Reebok pumps with the basketball in the front, except it's just it's a bubble of sauce. sauce through and it, tubes. Like, like oh, that's Bane does, great. Like yes. how it does the Bane? When Bane yes. does it, you know. I could not pass up the, oh, we already did that. It's sauce sauce. Matcha's simple saucy design features sauce sauce mixed into the paint to create a custom look that drips with flavor. Cool. And smells terrible. And, and ants. Always. Always <laughs> ants on your Always feet. Always ants. Many chain sauce bottles that hold real sauce and harken back to Gardner's unique sauce chain are attached to each cleat. It, the so words are losing meaning. Sauce I know. chain, chain sauce little... for these shoes. The client sauce did sauce for shoes. Anyways, <laughs> Bitcoin, blockchain. <laughs> Let me see oh, if I can you. find just the perfect. Yeah, here we go. So here's a picture of the sauce shoes. These, huh. uh, these fucking rule. Yeah, they're pretty good. It actually didn't take me very long to decide, and I'm kind of the shoes guy here, but um, these fucking kick ass, actually. Can you describe them, Griffin, since you're just a big fan? Sure, imagine black shoes. Yeah. That, okay, I'm with you so far. Imagine black shoes, and they have a white, Sort of uh, Nike logo. It's got a Boys and Girls Club logo on the on the tongue of it, uh, or rather the 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 toe of it, and in big letters, uh, "Sauce" is written also in white. And then, sort of superimposed over that, it looks like somebody sort of laid the shoes down on the ground and it took a big thing of gosh to describe the hue of this sauce. Obviously, orange Cheetos dust. You know the special sauce that Kel makes in Good Burger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's the pr- approximately that shade. That yeah, I mean it's Nickelodeon couch orange, and they've just sort of dumped. I would say about a cup and a half of it on each shoe, and it's and so real sauce. This is real s- paint with sauce. Sauce mixed an in. undisclosed amount of sauce. So- we don't know the sauce to paint ratio. It could be quite low, right? But like they, they kick they ass. They look so paint. good. Sorry, like when somebody mixes blood into paint to like so. My to remember their grandpa this, or whatever, yeah, or something yeah. like, yeah. That I just take thing. a picture of my grandpa. What are you guys talking about? I love to cover everything in sauce, even my cleats," said Sauce Gardener. <laughs> Mosh created an awesome design, dripping with the custom sauce sauce that I launched with Buffalo Wild Wings. I can't wait to show them off and then auction them off for a good cause. Okay. Yeah, the the custom cleats are the latest in a unique partnership moments between Buffalo Wild Wings and Sauce Gardener. They kicked off the season in September, introducing the smoky, sweet, and spicy sauce sauce that is available nationwide. Following the first ever Sign With Sauce autograph session, where he signed memorabilia in sauce sauce at yes. Buffalo Wild. <laughs> Fuck, man, I love this. That's great. That's great. I wonder how that affects the resale value of any object. <laughs> Can I just yes, say, you mean. what hits me with this, because we've done some weird co-branding sponsored episodes before, this feels so much. We'd love much to a- do more if you're a brand yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. But Buffalo Wild Wings came to him and was like, hey, you go by the name of Sauce. We'd love to partner with you. And he's like, okay, but only if it becomes so absurd sure. to okay. come back around. I'll sign things with Sauce. What do you want me to do with Sauce? You got, I'll put it in my shoes. Maybe yeah, let's, let's do it. To sort of hedge our bets here and increase our chance of getting one of these branding opportunities, it would be helpful if we did have nicknames related to the things that our advertisers typically are focused on. So for instance, I could be Griffin Sox McElroy, but I think yeah. that was the name of the cat that the Clintons had. Is Sox that right? McElroy. Sox McElroy. <laughs> Sox McElroy. Yeah. Uh, or this, Griffin, is cat. Griffin, this is Griffin Websites McElroy. Hey, what's up? It's me, Griffin Stamps McElroy. Hi, I'm Justin Bugatti McElroy. Yeah. Just want to be aspirational. I want to be aspirational. I'm Travis sure. Sleeps on Piles of Money McElroy. Well, the, uh, you know, those are what we Okay, do. okay, let's see. Something that we normally, uh-huh. Okay. Okay, oh, wait, I got oh. it. Uh, I'm Travis Ships Frozen in Box McElroy. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's cool. That's good. Uh, only Buffalo Wild Wings and Sauce Gardener could partner with an artist like Mosh to create the first custom cleat designed with sauce. That is a sentence. That is a sentence that is unknowable and unprovable in a vacuum. I don't yeah. think that, but they are probably the only ones that would, right? I mean, take it. If they should have said, "This is we may or may not be the only ones capable of generating these orange shoes," but we're certainly the first. No one else has done it yet, so I think that that is proof enough. 
This is uh, Tristan Moline, Vice President of Brand Management and Innovation at Buffalo Wild Wings, who That's is a cool owed job. a holiday at this point. It's Fucking a cool, cool job. job. Throughout the season, we showed everything really is better with sauce. And sauce and are thrilled. <laughs> so it says, everything is really better with sauce and sauce. And are thrilled to support the great work of Boys and Girls Clubs of America in its mission to help kids and teens reach their full potential. Yes. Cool. So that those are I I don't know if this auction is still going on. We've got some. Let's see, Tony Gonzalez cleats, some Richard. Sh- I mean, man, I just fucking googled right sauce sauce shoes. <laughs> My Google's gonna think that I'm having some sort of episode. Sorry, sauce sauce, sauce shoes? shoes. Give me anything, Google. Let's do um, another question. Yeah, I'd love another question. Here we go. I want to know if this fucking auction. Is I still was just going. trying to see if the auction is still. What if the three of us going. ended up being the only ones who bid on this thing? Like, I'll just search sauce, right? Like, the word yeah, sauce. Yeah, Google sauce. Didn't work. Didn't work. Oh, fuck. Sauce Gardner. Sauce Gardner will tell you about the football player, but maybe not about his incredible shoes. <laughs> they may not be up here yet. There's a lot of other f- famous shoes. A lot of famous shoes. I could I could finally get Eli Manning's custom cleats. Would you fuck ring with those Boomer out? Size and custom cleats that say Team Boomer on them. Oh fuck. All right. Uh here's another question. I know you got out of the game a while ago, but you're the only ones I can ask. I've been hired to watch a farm for three weeks at the end of the year. However, this farm has five horses, and the one horse that is supposed to be the nice old horse. Hates my guts. Mm. How do I win this horse over? That's from not horsing around. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know this one. Okay, we'll try a different one. Well, no, I just, I don't know about, I horses have changed a lot since we talked about them a lot. Do they still like oh. apples? They yeah, still see, like I don't, I don't think so. I'm so unplugged now from horse culture. Like, I, that might actually be kind of rude. If you're oh, like, yeah. it's an apple. Like, I guess you still like these. It's like how we used to, like, when we were young, it was like, here's a bag of bread, go feed these to the ducks. But now we know that if you do that, they die instantly, I guess. Which is hard to believe that, like, we we whiffed it on that that long. Yeah, for a long time. So it's just like what we know about horse physiology could be, we could be looking at a completely different animal out there. Do horses like YouTube videos? They like YouTube videos because I got a lot of those on hand, downloaded constantly all the time. And let's also say this: we can address this question without having to talk about our our distinct lack of horse knowledge. But you're at a farm where there's five horses, and one of them doesn't like you. That means four horses do like you. Great if I point. walk into a room and eighty percent of the people in that room like me, who am I kidding? That's insufficient for me. That's like a <laughs> right, deep, you need that's, that's deep, deep, deep deep broken part of me but i if it was five horses i think i could probably be okay with one of them being now you say that griffin but if the common opinion is that's the nicest horse on the farm it loves everybody but not you that that means it's gonna be too busy for me like i want i want i would rather have the nasty horse it's like oh that's interesting little nasty doesn't usually uh eat, eat oats out of anybody's hand that is, we by the know. way, I, I've learned uh, when I went and did the, uh, the D&T in a castle, there was a castle cat named oh. Poppet. And I one day clicked my tongue and Poppet came over and I pet Poppet and I told the front desk person about this. And they said, oh, my God, he never does that. That's amazing. You're and a ghost, the, unfortunately. The next 10 people I talked to about it who also stayed at the castle like, oh, he also does that for me. Oh, and man. the front desk person told me the same thing, oh, which that's... leads you to believe oh. the front desk person is just telling everybody he never does that, that's which is cool. You could focus less on the fact that it's a horse and more on the fact that it's old. So yes. if you loudly say that the younger horses are lazy mm. and weak, old yeah. people love that. Like, and I'm assuming old horses do too. Like if you talk about how much harder it was, I know when my grandpa Dan is around, I'm always excited when I know about a business thing I could say. Sure. <laughs> That's good. I don't know. Give me an example all- of that. Travis, you be Dan. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Um, hey, Justin. No, 
It sounds like Foghorn Leghorn when I do it. Okay. Well, hey, Justin, it's me, Grandpa Dan. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Tell me about business. Well, I think we're going to reincorporate our small business. Into what? In different. What? An SLC. Oh, like SLC Punk. Love that movie. You ever see that movie? I think it's kind of a bummer, but I get what you're saying. You know, they made a sequel called SLC Punk 2, Punk's Not Dead. I'm in it. Wow. You're in it. Holy yeah. shit, Grandpa Dan. I'm a Grandpa big part. Who, who are you in SLC Punk 2? I'm uh, I'm man on street number three. I'm the one who says, get out of here, you punk ass bitch. I thought you took the Lillard part. I kind of figured you were filling in for Lillard. No, I take it away uh, yeah, from the master. I, I, I'm fucking going through the list right here. Devin Sawa. Yeah. Machine Devin. Gun Kelly. I got so many I got Grandpa so many Dan. stories about working with Devin on the set. Yeah. You're in here right between Devin Sawa and Machine Gun <laughs> Kelly, Grandpa Dan. Yeah, all three of us shared a trailer. And That's some babes. fucking crazy. Oh, I bet yeah. you've got some stories. <laughs> oh, we used to fucking party. Oh, I've never heard you cuss before. I like it. I fucking love it. <laughs> I'm a dirty um, birdie. I want to help more people. I'm not I'm not Help me, yet. Justin. Recently, we had my work. I'll help you figure out the cloud, Grandpa Dad. Oh, well, thank you. I got uh, so many photos of Devin Sawa to upload. <laughs> I got we got Dev, we got Grandpa Dad a um, a uh, uh, one of those digital photo frames that work on internet. And I yeah. have this like ongoing thing where every time I see him, he tells me it doesn't work, and then I tell him that I'll come fix it, and then the cycle begins anew. <laughs> With no action, <laughs> with no action to change these circumstances. Yeah. Uh, recently, we had him a work Christmas party at which we exchanged our secret Santa presents. The spending limit of twenty dollars is pretty loose. Everyone goes over by a few dollars, but my secret Santa got me a thoughtful gift as well as fifty dollars in gift cards. We barely know each other. She said she missed the memo on the spending limit. We also don't make a lot of money here, and she definitely makes less than me. Do I keep the gift cards or return them? That's from many of my good in Minnesota. Huh. Huh. Hmm. There, okay. Can I just say, we have a mystery on this one to me. What's that, Trap? Well, even if they missed the memo on spending limit, they got a thoughtful gift and, and gift $50 cards. in gift cards. Yeah. That's, unless the gift cards are for a place that they do not go. Yeah, and they were this just re-gifting. Re this is a re-gift. It's that a re-gift. Max of re-gifting. They in don't so go to a Texas Steakhouse, right? They don't go there. They they're not allowed. They're not allowed to go to Texas yeah. Steakhouse. That's the only thing that makes sense. Because otherwise, like, why would you buy a thoughtful present, or why would you buy gift cards and then a thoughtful present? Yeah, Texas Roadhouse. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you. I, when you, I said it. I was like, "This sounds wrong," but maybe it sounds wrong. Maybe then I remembered the entirety of the song. You remember the song? Yeah, sure. This is the place for Texas sass steaks. This is the place for killer ribs. Yeah, <laughs> this is the place you've heard so much about. <laughs> so come on in and check it out, Texas Roadhouse. This is the place. I'd good. actually completely forgotten that until this moment. Thank you so much. And then they have the, the verse. It's like, crunch on the nuts and put the nuts on the floor. We don't care what someone else will slip in them. <laughs> don't people slip on the nuts? Yeah. They do. Like, yes. Yes. Yes, they, yes, do. they, they do. do. It's a feature, not a bug. We love to watch them slip <laughs> on the dirty nuts on the ground. <laughs> what about what about nut allergies? Huge problem. Yeah. Huge, huge, huge yeah. problem for us. Unresolved. We have, uh, uh, we, yes, we have cut off a, a large portion of, of the population who's not able to come here, but still, please enjoy her Texas-sized steaks. God, we are losing so much money on these huge steaks. <laughs> it's so fucking thinking. big. Nobody they eats cost, all of them. They cost thirteen dollars, and they're so big. <laughs> they're so, so big. big. Why did we say we'd make them Texas size? Ugh. We just don't ask where we get them. We put a cow in a big oven, and we charge thirteen dollars for what comes out. What are we doing? We're um, all big. We're all big. I don't know how to children. I don't know how to cook. <laughs> Help us. We just order money from Lone Star. We order food from Lone Star and then we put it on a different <laughs> plate over here. Please help us. I don't we don't we didn't file a business license or anything. We just went in this big building. We said this is a steak restaurant now. And, and it's no a chain one, now. What no, no one said anything. Um 
I've forgotten the question. Uh, the I question, did, yeah. I think you just keep it. Keep or it. give it. Yeah, I think you keep it. Nobody wants a gift re- get, like given back to them. You've already accepted it. You can't tell this person that you've been agonizing over this for days. Yeah. Weeks, perhaps. You just got to just use it. Just go to Texas Roadhouse. Yeah. And use if, it. If it's a gift to earn for a restaurant, uh, offer to take them to dinner. That's oh, really that's good. good. That's really good, but could be considered. Or lunch. I th- I think lunch. Lunch. lunch is the safer play there. Yeah. Lunch is the safer play. Or after dinner drinks. If I was the sort of person that got lunch with people, I would have hey, lunch with friends. Hey, uh, uh, would you like to join me for a cocktail at Texas Roadhouse? <laughs> <laughs> the drinks are really irresponsibly big. And you're not allowed to say over serving out loud. Like, it's not even a thing there. They'll like, never you, cut you off. No matter how many peanuts you, you eat. You can oh. drink as much as you want. Get totally blotto with your dad. Yeah. That other place might say no rules, but we literally have no rules. Just right. Logan came in here and he started barfing. He said, I wouldn't allow this at my roadhouse. <laughs> It's where Logan goes to really cut. It's where it's where it's where Doctor Ponderosa goes to really cut loose at a steak restaurant. Um, um, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. We hope you have enjoyed yourself. We know we've enjoyed having you here with us. Uh, it's always a delight and an honor, and I n- I never want to lose sight of that. No, Beautiful, me neither. Justin. Justin, tell us about the new merch. Yeah, bud, we got some new stuff at the shop, McElroyMerch.com. There's a flame bright dice from uh, Taz Amnesty designed by uh, uh, Ewellyn uh, and created in partnership with Die Hard Dice. Uh, There's a rudeness enamel pin based on our McElroyale uh, gallivanting. And 10% of all merch proceeds this month will go to races, which promotes justice by providing free and low-cost Legal service to underserved immigrant children, families, and refugees. That's all at McElroyMerch.com. Uh, also, I'll let you guys know we got some uh, the leftover 20 Rendezvous Fancy Takes Flight tour days coming up. Tickets are still available for those rescheduled shows. Uh, April 27th, we're doing Adventure Zone with Abri Iyengar in uh, San Jose. April 28th, we're doing My Brother, My Brother, and Me in San Jose. April 29th, uh, we're doing Denver, My Brother, My Brother, and Me. All existing tickets will be honored for the new dates. Uh, mask and proof of full vaccination or negative COVID test within 72 hours of event start is required. Also, just a reminder, uh, I'm going to be at Sketchfest on uh, February 3rd uh, doing some stuff with uh, Paul and Storm and Jonathan Colton and friends. Uh, I'm also going to be on the Choco Cruise, and I hope to see you all there. Hey, and- we, got a, we got a graphic novel coming out in yep. like six weeks or so. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it comes out February 21st of this year. It's the 11th hour. It's it's one of my favorite chapters of all of uh, anything, honestly, we've ever done in Adventure Zone. You can go to theadventurezonecomic.com to pre-order, and you can submit your receipt to bit.ly slash 11th hour pre-order to get a lenticular sticker featuring art from the book. It's a great book, and it helps us out so much when you pre-order it, so please think about doing that. Thank you. Do it. Do it. Thank you. Do it. That's going to do Justin, it for us. I'm sorry. No, Justin, was that yeah. a reboot of Starsky and Hunch reference? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a reference. I was just in my head. I don't know why. I've never. I haven't, Kick-Ass I Flick, man. Funny. I've seen that flick. It's a funny flick. Can't funny. believe Kick they ass. make a sequel. Can't believe there's no sequel. How do we, how does it end now? We need to settle this right now because I'm fucking tired of it, gang. I don't like this hey, feeling. Hey, Justin, can you just do like a Jack Johnson quote or something? No, I. it doesn't, it can't be. How about this? Surf. I want to surf the vibe of not being stressed out during our end of show run because I know that one of the three of us is going to have to be placed upon the altar to bomb so that we feel comfortable in terminating the episode. Yeah. Yeah. We should be allowed at this point to have the strength of our convictions to just end it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the episode, fuckers. Enjoy, <laughs> enjoy silence for one week. <laughs> <laughs> And break, drink up the silence. We'll talk to you in a week. <laughs> My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. Sit on it for seven fucking days for once. <laughs> this is my brother. My brother, he kissed your dad square on the lips.
MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.